Hi WTF Girls 007, you have a part two. And this one I think is going to be uh, more interesting than the first. Okay, this is part two of my atheism series, I guess. Um, WTF, 007 girl here. And this one's about black atheism. <laughs> black atheist, huh? I have a real problem when people refer or try to categorize other people by, by their skin color or by their ethnicity. Um... That's why I said at the beginning that this one's going to be more interesting. Let's see what you have to say about black atheist. And it's it's going to be a it's going to be a controversial one. So get at me, whatever. I'm from Brooklyn. Nobody scared of you. Let's get let's get it on. Um, I'm really annoyed at black atheist, and I'm going to tell you why. I have been seeing it on the rise, and this is the demographic of a black atheist. They're usually, um, <laughs> well, I don't even want to get into deeper topics because y'all hate me, but they're usually completely physically opposite of what a white person is, facially, whatever, color-wise. Um, they're very well-spoken. I wouldn't even say well-spoken. They just seem to mimic white people or whatever the way they speak. Yes, what is what is sounding white, what is sounding black? No, there is a sounding. Like, I, I speak well, as you can hear, but you can hear that I'm a black person. You can tell by the way I speak. I don't really sound like a white person. Like a white person, they sound like this, and they sound very clear. And even still, I have a, I have a deep timbre in my voice that you could tell I'm black. So it's not like I'm trying to be white. You know, I'm just a well-spoken black person. But anyway, they're not going to get into that. So because somebody of a darker skin color presents themselves when they speak more properly, um, actually using English, um, you think that they're trying to copy white people. How is that? Just wondering, how, how is that? You know, like, I was accused of this years ago of, of being a white black man because of the way that I speak, because I am very proper when I speak. I speak this way so that you can understand what I am saying. I actually hate ghetto and slang and all of that ebonics crap. Um, I am actually the product of my environment, which is a white neighborhood. I was raised in a predominantly white um, school. Um, that does not totally, you know, tell you that I am acting white. I am just a product of my environment. And other people of darker skin colors that present themselves in a very um, straightforward manner. They're not, you know, acting white. You know, and uh, you cannot always tell the ethnicity of somebody just by their voice. You know, uh, yes, people with a darker pig pigmentation usually have a deeper voice but not always um but they're very um they they do the mannerisms of white people and stuff and they're, they're almost over exaggerative in the way that they act you know and i just feel i have a big problem with black atheism because i think they do it because the white people do it because the white people do it not because they want to, um, you know, speak properly or they've been taught to speak properly with proper 
mannerisms to get across what they're saying. You think that black atheists speak the way that they do, or the ones that you have seen speak the way that they do because white people do it. That's racist. I hope you know that. Now, like I said before, I speak the way that I do because I was raised to speak in this way. I was taught to speak in a proper, direct way. I really do. I mean, you know, it's just like Asian people, you know, a lot of them, they do the same mannerisms as white people, and they, you know, they almost, they, they do it really good. You can't even tell. Sometimes you close your eyes, you can't even tell they were Asian or whatever, but. Maybe because they were raised that way. Like, certain people of a darker skin color like you and I were probably raised around an environment like that were the mannerisms, the way that you speak. You pick that up where you live, where you go to school, and who you interact with. Yeah, you can say I'm racist, but whatever, we're all racist. All of us are. And if you're not, you're a liar. I don't see race, because we are all part of the same species. I do notice different ethnicities that people are. But that does not depict the type of person and that's going to be. That's not going to tell you how they're going to speak, what they think, what they believe. Um, you are right to call yourself a racist just then, because the stuff that you just said was very racist. But please do not project that onto other people, because you put a pre a presupposition onto other people. By the way that they look. Um, yeah, but they just overdo it. You know, they're 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 too they're too into it, and I only think they're into it because white people are, and it annoys me. You know, it's annoying me right now. This generalization that is coming from you, toppled with the racism. So this generalization racism that's spewing out of you. That's what's annoying me right now. I mean, you know, and these are the same people that will say, I'm vegan and I only eat organic. They do all the things they think that white people do. It's just so stupid. This is not even true to you. I knew, I knew a black guy. <laughs> I knew a black guy, and um, I mostly, you know, I primarily date white guys. I have a white boyfriend now. Um, we'll get into all of that interracial stuff another time. And he only dated, you know, non-black girls, and we actually started dating, crazy enough. And um, he was just like, oh, you know, like, um, I want to get you into this because you seem to be on my same plane. And he was into yoga and all this tantric sex and everything was organic. And all his friends were like Pakistani, Asian, and white. And it was just really nuts. And at, at the end of it, like, I didn't, I liked him because I, you know, he was interesting. But then it started getting kind of weird for me. I was like not interested. But he, he liked me too. But you could tell he was struggling with it because it was like, it didn't fit in his little white world. Like he needed, he needed like someone to justify his non-blackness and you mean how to you somebody with a skin color of mine should not be speaking properly and using proper mannerisms didn't fit into your little world just asking or stating he ended up going out with an asian girl and started trusting like somebody in like 16th century Asia with like you know those bamboo flip flops and stuff like stuff that Asian people don't even do themselves in the US and I bet you he's one of those atheists now I bet you because it's like 
you know, especially the young kids, I notice they they're into the emo thing. There's black emos and there's black punk rockers. And I know in a way it is good in a way because it means that black people are finally getting out of their box. Like black people used to only like listen to rap music and only used to dress this way. So in a way, it's good that they're kind of expanding, but they're expanding in the wrong way. It's like you want to feel special and cool to rebel to just say you don't believe in God. And I, I find that annoying. Like, you think that it's cool that people of darker skin color are expanding outside of their own cultures, but you find it annoying. Why? Because they're not doing it the way that you want them to do it or that you think that they should do it? Hmm? Like, black people are totally raised by spirituality. Can you elaborate on that? Black people are raised by spirituality. Hmm. And, okay, the white atheist will say, that's kind of ironic being that you believe in God and you were, you were actually, you know, brainwashed to believe in God through slavery. You were forced. Um... Yes, the slaves that were brought over to this country back in the day was forced to give up the religion or cultures that they had when they lived in Africa and told to be Christians. The reason why is because the Bible speaks about slavery and that it is okay to have slaves. It also tells you to teach your slaves to worship their particular god, which was called Yahweh. Uh, in today's society, uh, it's not forced upon in slavery terms. It's more cultural and how you're raised that primarily determines um, if you choose to be a theist or not within a certain age range. Um, other than that, it's up to the individual to choose if they believe in a deity or not. But we already had a religion in, in Africa, too. So it was just, a, you know, your Christianity was just a different way of thinking. But all religions in general are basically the same. They have the same premise of not to do wrong, to care about others and such. Not all religions. There's religions that tell you to specifically hate and to kill those that A, do not join your religion, and B, those who try to leave your religion. So no, not all religions are about love and peace and coming together. But I'm getting off topic. I just think that today's black atheists are no different than the white hippies of the 60s. Um, they were all about love, and they had black people at their house, and they were about, you know, oppression. And those same 60s hippies are now, like, staunch Republicans that live in cul-de-sacs and, and, and uh, exclusive neighborhoods that they, they don't even see a black person all day. So to me, it's like, it's not authentic to what black people are. And I'm sorry, I don't care. You're going to stay, you're going to get mad, but I really could care less. Black people just have a natural rhythm with with nature. We just do. That's why we can dance. People make fun of, like, black people can dance and white people can dance. I really believe it's because we have, a, I mean, all races of people can dance except for white people. And I just feel that we have a natural rhythm to the environment, to nature. White people can't dance because they don't have a natural, a natural um coexistence with nature they're off balance they're not really in tune with nature they the thing is that they're so hypocritical because they make like they're so into nature but they turn around and destroy it like they like oh i want to camp and i want to i want to eat uh organic food but you'll you know you you be the first one to like wipe out a whole civilization so you could put a mall somewhere and live in a really fancy place like I just, I can't understand that. If you're so about nature, why is it that, you know, you get an attitude and you see pigeons on the street? I live in New York, so 
this is all I can go by. And you just you just totally almost stomp them. You don't even walk around them. You have no respect for nature. So it's like so fake. And black atheists, I just feel that they're so wanting to be a part of this white uh clique that they decide to be atheists. The real it's really young ones too, it's like eighteen years old, twenty. And so you think that young black atheists want to be like the white atheists from the 60s that are now staunch republicans with this generalization that you just made of practically all white people for the past three minutes this was some of the most like hardest shit that i've had to sit through that's why I did the video the way that I did, because I really had no words to say. Where are you getting this from? Seriously. Where the hell are you getting this from? Please. Uh, <sighs> and they just really so want to be part, so it's like, you know, they're not really intelligent enough to stand their ground and still commiserate with people they just want to be a part of the group um i've been looking online a lot of youtube videos of people saying that they're black atheists and they're all they're always the same type person they're just like very whitewash acting they you know they're just like really really and i swear i'm not saying this to be mean at all but they're just very very dark complected people they look com they have very afrocentric features so they're really obsessed with just saying like i know i don't look white and i'm not white but i believe everything that you do and it's like so cool like it's so dumb you're never going to be white ever and the problem is be glad who you are don't dislike who you are so again according to you i should not be talking the way that i am talking because of the color of my skin I'm talking the way that I'm talking because I want to emulate white people. Fuck you. Just, just be you. You know, I'm a very unique individual. You know, you, I'm almost just complex to, to craziness. I mean, I believe in nature and I believe in in love and at the same time i do believe that evil people should not be here by any means necessary i believe you know i date outside of my race but i do believe a lot of white people are you think that people should be who they are but you just generalized a whole bunch of darker colored skin people that are atheists as being white or pretending to be white and then you turn around and say that you believe that a lot of white people are racist you're racist you really are you're just not really admitting it and you said something in the middle of both of those things which is that you date it outside of your race we are not separate races we are all part of the same species please get that through your head there's enough um, uh, nationalist on YouTube that need to be dealt with please don't add to that okay I mean, and it's not contradictory, it's just a fact, which that will be another, another video at another time. But, um, oh God, it's just a bad hair day today. Um, yeah, it's like really bad. I feel like doing it. But anyway, the thing I'm trying to say is, is that to you black atheists out there, I'm sorry. You're just, you're, you're whitewashed. You want to be part of the group. Um, you think the more you adapt to white culture, the less black you are. You're not. At the end of the day, they're always going to bring up, especially white Americans, they're always going to bring up that you're black.
every time we turn around. You being a black atheist just makes you look more weird in their eyes and or and or makes them boost their self-esteem that wow, look look at this little monkey is just trying so bad to be like me. You have just shown that you have taken zero time to learn about any of the atheists on YouTube or in the real world. Zero! We're not whitewashed because we speak properly. Because we use certain mannerisms. Like I said before, it has to deal with mostly where you are raised and how you are raised. And you think that they think that I am a little monkey that's trying to be like them? Fuck you, you racist cunt bitch. I am glad that this thing is almost over. Because I am now, like, at the end of my fucking rope with you. You will never be part of that group. And the thing is, stop trying to be. You know? Stop getting away from your natural course in life. You should, you should have a spiritual base. Let me tell you something about these white atheists that I have met here on YouTube. They are some of the least judgmental people that I have ever met in my life. These white atheists are more accepting of the color of my skin and my sexuality than any theist that I've ever fucking met. You need to shut the fuck up, open your goddamn motherfucking ears, open your eyes, and watch some of these people, and actually learn what they are about and listen to what the fuck they have to say. You are a judgmental racist cunt. I'm not telling you to be a Christian. I'm not telling you to read the Bible. I'm telling you to not distance yourself from God. You know innately in you, you know there's a God. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even going to talk to white people because there's so much a lot of white people are so much about being being a god. They they really hate God actually because they they want to control everything. They're very control obsessed. They want to control everything. So them not believing in God, I'm not really surprised. But black people, you should know better. How is it innate that there is a God or gods? I've asked you this before. I swear, the more you go on in this video, the more I cannot believe you. Honestly, what the hell does the color or pigmentation of someone's skin have to do with them knowing that, that there is a god or gods? Or for that matter, what does the pigmentation of their skin have to do with them knowing how to dance? What does the pigment of someone's skin have to do with the way that they talk? What does the pigment of, of someone's skin have to do with supposed spirituality that we cannot test for? <sighs> you, you know that you're in tune with the universe way more than they could ever be and this is ridiculous. Like, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, it's, you just, you don't know how ridiculous you are into the eyes of them. And let me tell you something. I've been around a lot of white people a long time. And um, I've sometimes not said anything because I just want to observe. And then I have two or three white people that I could really just tell them real stuff and not, I could be comfortable with it. And they tell me, they're like, white people in general, they, it doesn't matter what a black person does. They don't really see. They, a, a white guy told me this. He said a lot of white people don't even see black people as entirely human. Like they really don't see them as human. They, 
even if they're your friends, they always think that you're less than them. And he said, from my experience as a white person, um, I, he said at least 90% of them think this way. And I believe him that really it, I mean, and it's bad, but it's true. Even in relationships, they always are going to think they're better than you. It does not matter what pigmentation somebody has. You're going to have assholes anywhere from the darkest dark to the lightest light. You're going to find assholes. You know. But the constant generalization that you have been doing on black atheist and white atheist and now on the majority of white people I find absolutely appalling I really really do because in this video and the last video that I made a response to you to you've you've tried to make it out like you are better than me or the white atheist You've tried to make it out that you know so much more than me as a black atheist. And you've now tried to make it out that you know what 90% or more of white people think about black people. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You are one judgmental racist cunt. So don't you think that you converting to atheism is going to make you win some white people points? Because it's really not. They'll talk to you and stuff, but always in the back of their mind when they see you, they just think black, black, black. And there's nothing wrong with being black, but they see it as a bad thing sometimes. No, you are the one that is seeing it this way. All right, I, I don't doubt that some white atheists see that, but for you to project that onto all of them, you know, it is really asinine of you. You know, um, I am really really running out of words for you for you know uh how much of a cunt you are i keep on using the word cunt because i'm trying not to go off into a cursing tangent at you and americans are like the worst at it like europeans i don't have really much problem with them i i get along with them pretty well but americans are the worst so you trying to do this black atheist thing. You're not special at all. And they're not going to look at you as real people. They never will. No matter what you do, you're still going to be looked at as a nigger. And that's the way they are. And atheists are the most racist people. Atheists are the most exclusionary people. And a lot of atheists really believe their real goal in life is to, is to, is transhumanism and and classism, that's really what atheism, atheists want. They want um, a, their own society built by their own rules. And if you don't do well enough, then you should be lower. You shouldn't, you know, it's not about everyone helping everybody. They don't believe. Oh my fucking goodness. You know nothing at all you don't you 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 know jack shit about atheist the the most common definition of the word atheist is one that does not believe in a god or gods and that's it now out of the atheist again i'm going to say this fucking again to you out of the atheist that i have met you know the greater vast majority of them are not racist the greater majority of them are not sexist. 
No, they do not believe the things that you just fucking spouted. Some of them are transhumanist. And you ob obviously do not know what the fuck a transhumanist is. A transhumanist is somebody who wants to further the evolution of humans through technology. Oh my goodness. The ultimate fail in this last clip is so fucking much that... I, How much longer is, is there? There's like a minute left of your damn video. Can I get through the rest of your video without getting pissed at you for you spouting rhetoric that you have no idea what you are talking about? I believe in helping everybody, no matter what, but they don't. It's like, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, you're ignorant automatically. If you don't go by their intelligence rules, whatever they are, you deserve to be almost close to a slave or whatnot. And, and if we're intelligent and we create society and make it better, and we're the ones that create it, then we should benefit the, the rewards of it. You can never make society better. Society is crap, but you can never make the world better. You can never make Earth better. Earth was already perfect. It was way perfect before any of us came here. And um, I'm getting off topic, but black atheists to me are a joke. They make me laugh. I don't understand. You know, you're not going to be white by doing this. And you're still going to be looked at as a monkey, no matter what you do. And you can get mad all you want, but that's the truth. So stop trying to be unique and trying to get attention. Because that's what you're doing. You're trying to get attention. Because when anyone says they're black atheists, people are like, whoa. But, yeah, you're just trying to get attention. I'm sorry if you don't like what I said. Whatever. Get at me. Peace. No, the joke here is you. And your... Is you and your racism. Honestly, that's what you spouted in this entire thing. It was nothing but bigotry racism and generalization of people without knowing anything about them seriously th this video just showed that you know nothing about the atheist community either on YouTube or anywhere else the rhetoric that you just spewed I know that some people are gonna watch and go she's right yeah those those atheists are are just not good at all. That that's what's gonna fucking happen. You know, we don't need more nationalists. We don't. Look around this site. People like Boogie Napalm is dealing with white nationalists. Now I just had to point out a black nationalist. And I hate using using those terms as black and white. But in all fucking honesty, that's how how you really fucking are. You think that a darker color skin and being religious is better than a lighter person with that declares themselves an atheist without you actually knowing what an atheist actually is, without sitting down and actually listening to what atheists actually have to say, and then turn around and look at somebody like me with a darker complexion and, and say that I'm trying to be a whitewashed... Oh! People like you that do not actually educate themselves on these specific topics are the ones that spread the most bigotry rhetoric that has to be debunked over and over and over again. I hope that you take some time and actually, you know, learn what, what atheists actually think you know, outside of of them not believing in a god or gods and find out what they actually do, what they believe, and what they think. 
because you have just shown that you know absolutely jack shit about anything. 